Alrighty, everybody, welcome back to another episode of Graveyard Keeper. I do not remember where we last left off. <laughs> I've honestly got no clue. I'm, I'm really bad at this, it seems. Um, but I do know what I want to do for this episode. And what I want to do for this episode is I want to actually start trying to make money. That is our goal for today. To make money i really just want to be able to start progressing with a lot of the things that the game has to offer and stop complaining so much about why the game isn't working or why this or why that i want to be able to actually get somewhere in the game so that's what we're going to do for this episode we're going to focus primarily on making money through veggies through burial certificates through any matter of things that we can find because we really, really need to start getting somewhere. Because um, we can't just keep letting this go on for no reason. Because I really want to be able to start getting to a point where we can actually do stuff. Because that would be great, would it not? I mean, like you, you'd want you'd want to be able to do stuff. Then that would be that would be great. So first off, what I want to do here is I want to grab my faith do a little bit of researching um so we're going to research the heart and the intestines so that we can get a shit ton of um faith points and then not have to worry about that for a very long time all right so with all of that done we've got enough faith points to not really worry too much and now we can actually go about and do our things that we want to do so first off i'm going to go off to the village sorry not to the village to the farm and harvest all of our crops looks like all the grapes are ready to harvest damn so they only return with four grape seeds shit well, I suppose at the very least, we do have something to use, I guess. How far away are we from making pressed grape juice, I wonder? Oh my god, we weren't far away at all. So we just need one more pail, and then we need one more pail of um, bronze grape juice. Oh yeah, and I think we harvested a fair bit of carrots, did we not? Yeah, we did. So we're going to use these carrots to feed the donkey so that we can get more buddies coming in. Um, and we're also going to work on our embalming liquids as well so that we can actually get a higher quality graveyard way faster than what we normally would. I think I'm playing the game really badly, which is why it seems like it's difficult when it's really not supposed to be, uh, but we're going to find out. Also with this crop waste, I've got shit tons of it. So I want to find out if I can actually sell it to the seed guy down here. Oh yeah, the um, merchant's here today so I can buy more grape seeds from him. He doesn't come out when it's raining, I see. But the merchant does come out when it's raining. I believe. I believe. Well, we're gonna find out now, aren't we? Oh, he does come out when it's raining. Perfect. Okay, so we bought the grape seeds. And now that the sun's out, the NPC is actually gonna come out so we can go and sell all of our stuff to him. G'day, mate. I have some stuff here I would like to give you. So with all of that stuff done, now we have a total of three silver. Um, not great. We will get a return on this eventually, hopefully. Um, if we can't sell brown level wine or bronze level wine or whatever you want to call it, that's going to be a massive problem for us. Apparently we can do these like graveyard enhancements and things like that, but I don't really know if I want to work onto that just yet. Um, it seems like our riding is going okay. We could get the B friend upgrade here, but I don't really think that it's worth it. So I think what I want to get is the um, related ore upgrade, and then I want to get the stone carving upgrade. And then from there, we can start progressing our um, equipment in a far better way than what we normally could. It doesn't seem like we can sell these crop waste. Let's take a look at these embalming liquids because I really want to see what happens with these. So an embalming liquid. Alkali. Acid. 
Well, it doesn't really tell me what it does, what it makes from it, you know. So I guess the only way that we're going to find out is by making these. So how do we make acid? So apparently we need the alchemy bench tier 2 to be able to make alkali and acid. But in order to make the workbench tier 2, we need steel parts. Which we do not have access to currently, as it would seem, I don't think. Yeah, nah, we don't. Um, we could make, uh, we could certainly try to get there. Um, steel ingots, steel parts, iron castings. That's where, yeah, that's where we would need that, iron castings. Makes sense. Don't make dollars, it makes sense. Did he even make a story? I don't even think that he made a story. What? The fuck? I don't even think the zombie made a story, but hey, whatever. We're gonna go off to the north side of the village now to see what we can do for a snake's quest. But let's go ahead and give a sus at what's going on up here. Hopefully we've unlocked more dialogue with this. What is this place? This path leads to the mountain fort. No entry is permitted. About Kukol. I can't let you in, but you can meet him outside the fort. He goes into the forest every night to the west. Not far from here. Nobody needs the mountain fort anymore. We all make a living somehow. Okay. At night time, he goes out to the west. Ask about the necklace. I heard that your master, the Lord Commander, recently bought a necklace. I'll pay you well if you bring it to me. My master wouldn't buy something as useless as a necklace, but the young master, the son of the Lord Commander, he might. But he left a couple years ago. Seems that I'll never find this necklace. Ooh. Ooh, he sells really good stuff, I see. But that's a dead end, I see. Ah, that's annoying. That's pretty annoying, man. I gotta say. The fact that you actually can't see the Lord Commander. Man, this game is fucking me about. Oh, I can teleport to the mountain fort now. Wait, what? Can I actually go in to the mountain fort? Or not? Is that just, is that just taking the piss out of me? We're gonna try that. I'm curious. Yeah, it just takes me to the outside of the mountain fort. That's lame. Wait, can I talk to this dude again and tell him? Uh, citizen building permission done. Let's go. That's it. Rightful citizen trading license. We need 50 silver for that. 50 silver for that. So we need to make um, fertilizer. If we make the fertilizer, how much is that going to actually boost our stuff by? Because I got to tell you, I don't have a lot of faith. Oh, hey, I can build a paper press here. Oh, that's cool. Well, time to go talk to Snake. About these restoration tools, I need to ask a favor in return. Sure, here's those restoration tools you were asking about. Wait, you already had them? Yep, had them when you asked me the first time. No offense, just business. Bruh, are you kidding me, dog? Fuck yeah, now. Alright, I suppose let's go get the... Let's go to the witch to go get some acid off of her. And then we can go off to the astrologer and finish his quest stuff. And hopefully be able to get our stone cutting too, which is what we set out to do for in the beginning of this episode. I brought you a pumpkin. Great. Soup is a perfect dish. You just wait until all your teeth fall out. Then you'll know. Cabbage soup, pumpkin soup, and vegetable soup. Trade. Oh, that acid is... Fucking expensive, actually. Shit. Might not be worth it. Might not be worth it. Tree, apple, bushberry seedling. Might not actually be worth it for her to help me with the acid. I mean, I can probably make it myself. But I just gotta figure out how to. That's the only thing. 
Speaking of how to, how the fuck do I get to there? There's plenty of ways to earn resources in this game, but god damn, oh man, it is fucked how like far you gotta travel to get stuff and how spaced out everything is, it's quite crazy. I'm not gonna make it to the astrologer in time, but we'll try. I have the restoration tools for you buddy, I hope these are the right tools. Not the best I've ever worked with, but I think they'll do. So we didn't get to the stone cutting too like I wanted us to, but that's okay. Now that it's Sunday and we do have the building permission, we are going to build a bigger church. So hopefully with the bigger church we can pull in more people, make more faith, make more money. That would be great so that we can actually start getting somewhere. I know I keep saying that, but I'm really, really hoping for the best. Really, really hoping for the best. They did say this graveyard has like cult-like activities or something like that, but I haven't seen it yet, so. Alright buddy, here you go. I am ready to upgrade the church. Good, very good indeed. Oh wow. Jesus. I'm no fan of this modern architecture. There's far too much light in here for my taste. But our modern faithful citizens, they'll enjoy it. Mark my words, in 10 years, some of them might even learn how to read. What a crazy time this is. Indeed. By the way, I think you should make the donation box bigger. And speaking of donations, are you aware that in order to perform a ceremony in the big church, you'll need to be a rightful citizen? Not really. Oh, then I must have forgotten to mention it. No wonder, I have so many important things on my mind. Just show me your rightful citizen papers and I'll gladly open the big church. Well, I do have those, so lucky me, I guess. Good thing I held on to that. Um, where is it? I think I popped it over to here. Yep, rightful citizen papers. Aren't I a lucky boy? So, about the cathedral. I have rightful citizen papers. Good. It wasn't actually necessary, I suppose. Who would ever know about your citizenship except me? Ha! <laughs> You're an asshole. That's not fair. Think of it as a test. A test of your faith, my son. Do you even know how hard it is to find someone who reaches my high standards? Ah, uh, you don't know. But I know, even my brother disappointed me. But that's a story too sad to be t Brother. Huh. I need you to build a cathedral here, a really tall one. You and I, we will perform a great ceremony in this cathedral. We will pray for the Vimor River to be filled with water. The town is dying without water and I shall save the town. What about building a cathedral here? Let me guess, I'll need a lot of this and that. What a fine, intelligent graveyard keeper you are. Plus one for the team, I was right about you. How many do I need exactly? Let me see, you have 30 plus 10, carry the 3, move the 2, and plus 5, and then let's double it for both sides and it'll be... Wait, I lost count. Let's just say... What. The fuck. That sounds like too much. Mm, yes, you're probably right. Okay, we'll say 200. That's way more reason. Mm. That's way more reasonable. What about the town's cathedral? Why can't you perform this ceremony in the town cathedral? Well, technically we don't have a cathedral. Our old cathedral steeple collapsed during the Great Blast. We haven't been able to rebuild it. No new construction isn't allowed to be taller than the King's Palace. But out here we can build a cathedral with a proper steeple. Oh my fucking god. You have got to be kidding me, my guy. God damn, this place is fucking massive now, though. Jesus. Oh, there's barely anybody that came. Mm. Great. Mm, they're donating less money. I don't like that. Oh my god. You know what? I think we I think we just need graveyard enhancement. Soften of faith. And elimination of faith. And then we'll just leave it be at that. Alright, so that's the end of this episode guys. We upgraded the big cathedral. We didn't get where we wanted to go um, with regards to our iron castings and our stone carving, but we'll handle that at a later date because I mean, with the amount of upgrades that we need to do in the church and in the graveyard, we're going to be crafting a lot, a lot of stuff. 
Um, we're also going to be crafting a lot of books as well. So, I mean, we have blue points for that, which is fine. So, um, yeah, I'll see you all in the next episode, whenever that is. And I love and appreciate you all. I hope you all have a wonderful morning, afternoon, evening, or night. And I'll catch you all later. Bye now.